For decades, the U.S. has maintained their superiority with cutting-edge fighter jets, but as global threats evolve, so must their technology. Introducing the F-47, the sixth-generation stealth fighter officially designated in March 2025, marking a new chapter in aerial warfare. From the F-15 Eagle to the F-35 Lightning II, each generation of U.S. fighters has pushed the boundaries of technology, but with adversaries closing the gap. The need for a next-generation platform became imperative. Enter the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD, a U.S. Air Force initiative aimed at developing a sixth-generation fighter to ensure continued air superiority. The F-47 isn't just an upgrade. It's a complete reimagining of what a fighter jet can be, with enhanced stealth. It is designed for ultra-low observability across radar, infrared, and even in some of its optical properties. Its new adaptive engines use variable cycle technology that optimizes performance and fuel efficiency during flight. It is rumored to be capable of both piloted and autonomous missions. AI integration is also one of its features, assisting with navigation, threat detection, and mission planning. Sensor fusion lessons learned from the development and usage of the F-35 is also implemented, meaning Real-time data sharing across multiple platforms for comprehensive battlefield awareness is possible. The F-47 is designed to operate in tandem with a fleet of autonomous drones known as Loyal Wingmen. These drones can perform various roles, from electronic warfare to direct engagement, all coordinated by the F-47. This synergy allows for a more flexible and formidable presence in contested air spaces. Equipped with next-generation weaponry, the F-47 is prepared for modern threats. Based on previous U.S. Air Force research, new potential weapons may be equipped in the F-47 such as hypersonic missiles, directed energy weapons, and even electronic warfare capabilities. On December 26, 2024, China made a bold statement in the realm of military aviation by test-flying two distinct sixth-generation fire prototypes on the same day a move that caught global attention. The first, unofficially dubbed the J-36, was observed near Chengdu. This tailless trijet aircraft features a diamond-shaped double-delta wing configuration, emphasizing stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. Notably, its design lacks both vertical and horizontal stabilizers, suggesting advanced flight control systems and a focus on reducing radar cross-section. The second prototype, referred to as the J-50, took to the skies over Shenyang. This twin-engine aircraft showcases a crank arrow wing design with sharply swept lambda wings and articulating, swivelable wingtips acting as control surfaces. The absence of traditional tail structures indicates a pursuit of enhanced stealth capabilities and maneuverability. Both prototypes reflect China's commitment to developing next-generation air superiority platforms. While official details remain scarce, the simultaneous unveiling of these aircraft underscores a significant stride in China's military aviation ambitions, potentially altering the strategic balance in the Indo-Pacific region. The race for sixth-generation air superiority is global, with the UK developing the Tempest, a sixth-generation fighter aiming to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Franco-German-Spanish FCAS, a trilateral collaboration for a comprehensive combat air system, the Russian Su-75 Chakmate, a new lightweight single-engine stealth fighter being developed as a contender to the F-35, and most importantly, China's J-36 and J-50, both of which already having flying prototypes. In this competitive landscape, the F-47 represents the U.S. commitment to staying ahead. While the Air Force prepares to field the F-47, the U.S. Navy is quietly pursuing its own sixth-generation fighter. The FAXX, designed as part of the Navy's next-generation air dominance initiative, this aircraft will eventually replace the FA-18EF Super Hornet and complement the F-35C aboard American carriers. But it's not just a newer jet. It represents a shift in naval air power strategy. The FAXX is expected to feature enhanced stealth capabilities, with a tailless delta wing configuration optimized for carrier operations and survivability in contested environments. Early concept art and defense illustrations hint at an aircraft larger than the F-35, 
America's internal weapon base and advanced sensor fusion. Its range will reportedly exceed 1,700 miles, about 25% more than current carrier-based fighters, giving it the legs to reach deeper into the battle space without relying on aerial refueling. But it's not just about the reach, it's about adaptability. The FAXX will likely incorporate open architecture systems, allowing it to rapidly integrate new technologies as they emerge. It's expected to be built with modularity in mind, allowing for both manned and unmanned configurations, depending on mission needs. Artificial intelligence and machine learning will assist the pilot or replace them, depending on operational context. And much like the F-47, the Navy's new fighter is expected to work in tandem with unmanned platforms, coordinating with air-launched drones to conduct reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and strike missions. In essence, the FAXX isn't just a new airframe, it's a floating brain capable of commanding and coordinating naval air operations far beyond the carrier's radar horizon. With the rise of near-peer threats in the Indo-Pacific, particularly China's rapidly expanding naval capabilities, the FAXX gives the US Navy a crucial edge. The ability to project power from the sea, deep into contested territory, with precision and stealth. And perhaps most importantly, the FAXX will ensure that even as warfare moves into the age of drones, AI and multi-domain battle networks, America's carrier strike groups won't be left behind. As technology advances, so does the nature of warfare. The F-47 and the FAXX are not just aircraft. There are platforms designed for the complexities of modern combat. With global powers developing their own 6th generation fighters, the skies are becoming more contested than ever. The future of air combat has arrived, and it's flying under the radar.